Hi guys and welcome to Chutes Online. Today I'm going to take you through the bronchial tree. It starts at the larynx, however we're going to start at the trachea today. The trachea extends from cervical vertebra 6 to thoracic vertebra 5. It has C-shaped cartilages. Where the open part of the C is at the posterior. At this open part there is fibromuscular tissue which is quite elastic. In between the C-shaped cartilages, the purpose of these C-shaped cartilages is to keep the trachea open so air can flow through. In between the C-shaped cartilages, we have smooth muscle and connective tissue. Directly posterior to the trachea is the esophagus. After the trachea, we have a branching into the left and right principal bronchi. The left and right principal bronchi have different features, so let's go over each in turn. This bronchus is quite long, and it remains unbranched until it enters the hilum. Once it enters the hilum, it branches into the superior and inferior lobar bronchi. Moving on to the right principal bronchus, this bronchus is quite short in comparison to the left principal bronchus and it actually branches outside of the hilum. And this first branch is the right superior lobar bronchus. Once it enters the hilum, it branches again to form the right middle lobar bronchus and the right inferior lobar bronchus. The left and right principal bronchi have the same sort of arrangement as the trachea. So they have the C-shaped cartilages, which are deficient posteriorly. Which have that fibromuscular elastic tissue. and connective tissue and smooth muscle in between the cartilages.
blue bar bronchi have a different cartilage arrangement. They have irregular cartilage. The low bar bronchi branch and form segmental bronchi. And these still have irregular cartilage. The segmental bronchi branch and then once the diameter of the bronchi reach to about one millimeter the cartilage disappears. After this point, they are no longer called bronchi, they are called bronchioles. The bronchioles open into alveolar ducts. And the alveolar ducts open into alveoli. And this is where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide occurs. So let's have a look at what this branching looks like. We start off with our trachea. And this is extending from cervical vertebra 6 all the way down to thoracic vertebra 5 where we get the branching. Into the right and left primary bronchi. Again, we have C-shaped cartilage. The left enters the hilum and then branches the right has its superior lobar branch then it enters the hilum and branches into middle and inferior lobar bronchi From here we have irregular cartilage, we have the lobar bronchi branching into segmental bronchi, these segmental bronchi Keep branching and form bronchioles. Bronchioles connect with alveolar ducts, and the alveolar ducts connect with alveoli, and then you get the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. And that about wraps it up for the bronchial tree. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you come back and learn a bit more about the human body. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.